guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a massive Vintage Chic Sense haul. You guys already know, obsessed with Kirby, love her company. I'll link some videos down below of some of my Vintage Chic Sense videos. She's probably the vendor that I have ordered from the most, as well as for the longest amount of time. I feel like even though Kirby and I have never met, I feel like we could be the best of friends. I love her so much, but this is not a love letter to Kirby like it is every video. Just know she's in my top vendors. Love her so much, and I just can't seem to ever stop with the restocks, and it's, it's a problem, but... It's okay. This drawer, I will do a wax tour video, I promise. What I think I'm going to do is right after Christmas, I'm going to make this like a tradition, right after Christmas, I'm going to do what my bins look like and how my storage looks every year on like that last week before January. So that way I can see like over the years how my collection has grown, changed, etc. Because at the end of the day, it is a consumable, so wax does change. So it's always going to look a little bit different year after year. I think that could be fun. But anyway, these are two orders. One was a little bit smaller than the other one, so that's why you don't see... Um, you'll see some things. I'm just putting them together into one because my one was pretty big. So combined with a little one... It's going to be a super full video, so let's get into it. As always, Kirby always sends a little scent shot with every order, and because there were two samples, there's two, or two orders, there's two samples. The first one is in Totally, and Totally is brown sugar, vanilla bourbon, chestnuts, pumpkin firewood, and campfire marshmallow. Now, if this is the vanilla bourbon, it is like that bath, or the... Yankee Candle from years ago. They had a vanilla bourbon, and I loved that candle, but it did have no throw. It did. It had no throw. It did have no throw. And I dropped a scent shot cup. Lord help me. But anyway, oh, it's nice. To me, vanilla bourbon is definitely the dominant note in here. It's a very rich, creamy scent. I don't pick up on, like, all the other scents. I really just pick up a creamy bourbon vanilla scent. I love that. And then the other one I actually also have in a souffle in this order, so I'll talk about it here. Frozen hot chocolate. Hot cocoa with mini marshmallows and a peppermint stick. Now, if you know me, you know I love New York City. I just got back from there, and they have a shop called Serendipity, and they make their frozen hot chocolate. She has captured the peppermint frozen hot chocolate in wax, 100%, because it actually smells cold. I don't know how she does that, but it actually smells like a frozen hot chocolate. Oh, and that little bit of peppermint doesn't make it overwhelming. Catherine, I know you're not the biggest fan of chocolate because it can come off burnt to your nose. Try frozen hot chocolate. I'm telling you, that is phenomenal. All right, so I threw the things in this basket. Um, it's mainly leaves, souffles, and film bars. So the first leaf two-pack that I got is in Sarah's Autumn Pie. Apple pie topped with gingerbread vanilla frosted graham crackers and caramelized pralines. I'm a sucker for anything gingerbread mixed with apple pie and caramelized pralines. Yum. Wow. Wow, 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 does this smell good. Oh my god. Caramelized Pralines is in it, but it's in the background. You definitely pick up on that frosted graham cracker and the gingerbread. And it's not a spicy gingerbread, it's a creamy gingerbread. Think of how Kirby does zucchini bread so well. She does gingerbread just as well. It's that creamy gingerbread. Oh my god, I'm not picking up a ton of apple pie, but I'm sure once it cures, this was just poured on the 22nd, I'm sure that that'll come out. Wow, is that amazing. Night of the Living Dead. Now, this one was beyond intriguing to me. This is vanilla bean zucchini bread topped with fresh satsumas and raspberries with a side of champagne. So we have zucchini bread, but vanilla bean zucchini bread. Satsuma, raspberry, and champagne. 
a very interesting blend because zucchini bread's bakery, so you typically pair it with a lot of foodie scents. Wow, okay. That's really different, but it's really good. You, okay, you pick up on zucchini bread. I don't necessarily say vanilla bean zucchini bread, it's just a very creamy zucchini bread. I get satsuma and I get champagne. Raspberry, not so much. Yeah, and like I'm, I'm like closing and smelling deeply to try to get everything. Wow, that's so different. Kirby, if you're watching this video, what was your inspiration behind the Night of the Living Dead? Because that is so different. You would never think to blend like fizzy champagne with zucchini bread. If, Lori Brown, you're watching, I know you love your fizzy. Check that out. Some leaves for Christmas. Are you serious, Clark? And that's from National Lampoons, and this is Cranberry Orange Clove. I love her leaf two packs. Some of my favorite shapes, that and the poinsettias. I will say, I'm not the biggest fan of cranberry. I like it, I don't go out and crave it. Same with orange. But this blend, and I've had it before, that's why I ordered it, with the clove, is quintessential Christmas. This is like, you're getting ready for Christmas. You're going out to a party or you're going to cut out Christmas trees or something and you want like a celebratory scent in your house. Or you're watching National Lampoon's Vacation with the family and you want something really comforting, cranberry orange clove. The clove really makes it a holiday scent and it tones down the cranberry and the orange. Next, we have O oh, Christmas Tree. Now, this I was super impressed with. Vanilla bean, vanilla lace, and sugared spruce. So we have super vanilla, a little perfumey, and sugared spruce, which is my favorite type of fragrance for Christmas, like, um, as far as tree goes. It's nice. It's a very creamy creamy Christmas tree, which I look for. I love Christmas tree, but I even love creamy Christmas trees more. Oh, is that nice? Especially with the vanilla lace. Vanilla lace is such a beautiful, beautiful oil. I'm trying to think, whose video did I just watch from Destination Wax? Oh, Kim, Canada Kim. If you're watching this video, you got vanilla lace in, um, in a loaf, I believe, from Destination Wax. Vanilla Lace, perfection. <sighs> Let's see. Okay, this is the odd man out because I don't have any other matches. Oh, another Leaf 2 pack. <gasps> Caffeine Queen. Starbucks coffee, Snickers coffee, and gooey marshmallows. So kind of like a chocolate coffee sweet marshmallow. More emphasis on the chocolate than the coffee, which is interesting because coffee is typically super strong and dominant, where in this, it's definitely more coffee or chocolate forward than coffee. But it's Snickers, because it's like gooey caramel and nuts. And gooey marshmallow is really just what's creaming it up. Wow. Kirby, that's, that's fantastic. I mean, I love coffee blends, and this is no exception, but it's not strong coffee, which is interesting. So if you are wanting to dive into coffee, but not sure how you like it, Caffeine Queen. I got a poinsettia, my first poinsettia of the season, Cranberry Jackie-O. I love her poinsettia shapes, love them so much, and Cranberry Jackie-O is a classic for her. It is Sweet Cranberry, Marshmallow Birthday Cake, and Vanilla Bean Noel, which is Jackie-O. Jackie so Jackie-O's Marshmallow Birthday Cake, Vanilla Bean Noel, mixed with Sweet Cranberry. Now see, if it was just plain Sweet Cranberry, I wouldn't like it, but mixed with that creaminess of the Jackie-O, perfection. And I get four melts out of these poinsettias. I'll cut them down the middle and down in half, put them in four of my warmers. Amazing. Throw all day. Oh, she's having poinsettias on the restock. Actually, by the time this video goes up, it was on Sunday. Because I think this video is going to go up on Wednesday. Yeah, I mean, I love, love her poinsettia shapes. Some of my favorites. All right. Now... We'll move on to the film bars. I have a few film bars to go over. The first one 
is Jackie O's Strawberry French Toast. Her film bars are beautiful. These are like, I almost call them like, like, like the size of a clamshell almost. I know Danny mentions it's like a mini loaf. Um, I think that's really cool. I can get about four melts. Some people can get six. It all depends on how much wax you like. I like a lot of wax. And this is vanilla bean French toast cake topped with fresh picked strawberries and whipped marshmallows. So French toast cake. Oh. The more you smell it, the more you pick up on that French toast. And strawberry. And it's fresh picked strawberries. It's not strawberry jam. But to me, out of everybody, VCS does the best strawberry. I love her strawberry so much. Oh, yeah. And mix with that gooey French toast. That's yummy. It's not like syrup. So don't think of French toast syrup. It's not like that. It's no maple. Then we have Master of Suspense, and this is Booberry Lemon Poppy Seed. Now this one was really intriguing to me because of the lemon and the cereal. Hmm. That's interesting. It's not like, it's not pledgy lemon, but it's not really super bakery lemon either. Emphasis on the booberry, which is like a, um, what is it, raspberry, cherry, something like that? Strawberry cereal? Strawberry cereal, I think. And because it's mixed with lemon, I was like, is this going to smell like Fruit Loops? Because to me, a lot of Fruit Loops scents smell just like a really creamy lemon bakery. That's different. I really, it's interesting. I don't smell much poppy seed. So once I pop it in the warmers, we'll see. But I love her film bars, so that'll go in the cure drawer. Speaking of cereal, this is a Monster Mash cereal bars. So this is fruity, sweet strawberry, blueberry, and cherry cereal swirled with marshmallow bits. I'm not a fan of cherry, so. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I'm instantly brought back to a memory. Do you remember when you were a kid and they had those cereal bars and the bottom was like milk? I don't know if it was like a yogurt bottom or what, but it was like milky bottoms. That's what this smells like. Like those cereal bars. Like totally like those cereal bars. It's definitely cherry forward, which I'm not the biggest fan of cherry, but mixed with all the other things, it's really interesting. I'm really interested in that one. I want to melt that. I don't hate it, but I want to definitely experience it. All right, <laughs> Jackie O's peanut butter zucchini bread. Did I talk about this in my last video? I feel like I did, but I don't think I did. Because, no, I didn't, I don't think, because I also have it in a loaf here, and then I also have it in a jack loaf. These are these gigantic pumpkins. Like, look at this. This is almost like as big as my head. Huge. I love this scent. I love this scent. I love this scent. I love this scent. I'm the biggest peanut butter fan. Like, if anything on a menu has peanut butter in it, I order it. And if you know who I'm talking about, peanut butter on a burger. She thinks it's crazy, but you must try it. If you have, uh, just even at home, but go to a restaurant and if they have a peanut butter burger, try it. Amazing. So this is vanilla bean zucchini cake topped with whipped marshmallows and peanut butter drizzle. Kirby has been flying off the handle with these um, peanut butter ones and I'm obsessed. You know what it smells like? I'm going to go get it. PB2. If you guys have ever had PB2, it's powdered peanut butter. I like to add this to my smoothies, especially because you get that peanut butter flavor without having to put that really thick peanut butter in your blender. I don't want to put my nose up, but I do have a Vitamix, and I love that thing. It blends everything, but I think the PB2 adds extra protein, and I just love the way it tastes. This smells... I'm going to open it. Right not right? Exa literally exactly, exactly like PB2. And I love that. I love it. This peanut butter, there's some more peanut butters in here. Out of this world. Oh my God. Kirby, when you made peanut butter, you took it to the park 
you took it to the bathroom, you took it to camp, you took it to Mars and back. I don't know what I'm trying to say. All I know is you took peanut butter and you made it phenomenal. I love peanut butter. And I'm not just saying that because I love her company. Didn't get it for free either. I bought this stuff and I love it. And I love peanut butter. All right, let's get to some souffles. I got two souffles in, ooh, David. I Nobody does it like Alexis, nobody does. And if you're not familiar with Schitt's Creek, where have you been? It's literally my favorite show. I remember watching it before it was super popular, and now that everybody watches it and loves it, I'm like, been there, done that, love Schitt's Creek. And Ooh David is a blend of Tobacco Vani and Palo Santo, which is a Tom Ford type Tobacco Vani. And I love this, and I love the color of this. This is loaf worthy, actually. Again, Kirby, if you're watching this video, this, and you know my favorite, in bombshell blossom bags, or in blossom bags. I love those things. <sighs> Palo Santo, you definitely pick up on it, and her Palo Santo is probably one of my favorites. I love her Palo Santo. Blended with a tobacco vanille, it's like a really sophisticated perfume. I need to find a Palo Santo perfume, by the way. If you guys know of any, let me know because I want to smell like that 24-7. Speaking of my favorite, Sweeney's Barber Shop. I don't think I'm going to be content until I have a whole entire drawer just full of Sweeney's. Yeah. Yeah. Kirby, I need a Jack Loaf in Sweeney's. <laughs> a whole Jack Loaf in Sweeney's. I would not complain because that would last me forever. And strawberry mint shaving cream. There's nothing better. If you have not tried it, you must. Jessica D, try that. Two quick wicks, try that. Who else? Everybody. The Scarecrow Walks at Midnight. Crisp fall air, crunchy leaves, and tattered flannel shirts. Now this was super intriguing because I have a lot and I mean a lot of bakery from Kirby. I wanted to get something different than bakery. I wanted something more fresh. Oh my God. This is very laundry. I wasn't expecting it to be as laundry as it is. I was expecting, I don't know, tattered flannel shirts. I guess I was figuring it would be um, like flannel type. It's very laundry. That's really all I'm picking up on. But it's like fall laundry. Like you pick up on crisp fall outdoorsy air mixed with laundry. Wow, that's really interesting. Not what I expected. The Scarecrow Walks at Midnight. Interesting. It's my goal this year, as much as I am afraid of scary, scary movies, to watch some Halloween movies that are scary. Peanut Butter Bakery. Buttery vanilla, fresh rolled dough, gooey batter, peanut butter, a hint of sugared almonds, just like you walked into the bakery. Okay. Set memory time. This smells just like peanut butter frosting on a cupcake. Specifically, I went to a bakery over the weekend in New York, and it is in the Upper West Side. It is um, called... It was in the meatpacking district. It was called That Little Cupcake Shop. I think that's what, a little cupcake bake shop or something like that. And they had a peanut butter cupcake and that's what I got. When I ate it, it smells just like this icing. Or this smells just like that icing. Wow. Just like it. It's crazy. Oh, I love New York. Next we have Drunk Witches. This is Palo Santo, Warm Amber, Soft Musk, Coconut Bourbon, and Campfire Marshmallow. Coconut Bourbon. Interesting. Bourbon. You definitely pick up on the bourbon. Her bourbon oil, oh, I'm dropping stuff, is amazing. Oh. This is like a very masculine but sweet scent, if that makes any sense. Like a masculine sweet because of the Palo Santo and the marshmallow. Is there marshmallow in this? Did I say? Yeah. Wow. 
that's really different. Like I said, it's like masculine and cologne -y and sweet. That's really good. I, I'm really impressed by that one. And I know a lot of people in the Facebook group love that one too. Frozen hot chocolate. I already talked about that one. And peanut butter jelly time. This is creamy peanut butter swirled with fresh picked strawberry jam. So this is strawberry jam mixed with peanut butter. Oh my god. Oh my god. Heaven. And to me, like, I'm still a little kid at heart because I buy Uncrustables all the time. And I like the jelly with the strawberry jelly instead of the um, grape. And that smells just like a peanut butter and strawberry jelly sandwich. I love it. I love that this is strawberry jelly. And it's the strawberry jam scent that I adore. Oh my god, that's amazing. And, Kirby, I need peanut butter and raspberry. How great would that be? Next we have our loaves. Oh my gosh, we only have two loaves. Michael Myers' favorite treat. Rich peanut butter sugar cookies. weird. It kind of, it's like a very, very, very sugar cookie. And not a ton of peanut butter. Almost like if you bought store-bought sugar cookie dough and like just rolled it in like peanut butter infused sugar. It smells like something. I can't picture it though. Maybe a peanut butter cookie, like a peanut butter cookie. Like those peanut butter cookies um, that you put the sugar on with the, with, the, with the fork in it. It's odd, though. I don't know. I don't know. I have to melt that. It's, very, it's different. It's not my favorite peanut butter, that's for sure. It's different, though. This was a last-minute ad when I saw that she had this. It's Belle. Totally different vibe than everything else, but it is my favorite Disney movie, Beauty and the Beast. Blueberry meringue torte and sugar cookie dough. Yum. Ooh. So it's interesting it says blueberry meringue torte. I assume meringue torte is um, lemon meringue because I smell lemon in this. Like lemon blueberry. And lemon and blueberry, such a cool combo together. Like I, that's something I love to eat in a dessert on pancakes as well as like smelling it. So nice. I love the color. Oh, that's so nice. Mmm. Yum. It actually reminds me, or it doesn't remind me of it, but the name with the blueberry reminds me of when she does the Sweeney's Barbershop um, different scents, and she does Pirelli's Miracle Elixir, which is blueberry mint shaving cream. Kirby, we need that, but we also need Johanna. Rosemary Mint Shaving Cream. I'm lacking on Rosemary Mint in my collection. And that's the... I literally, like, I'm wiping the sweat off my forehead. Because I turn my air off when I do the video so it's not loud. And I'm, like, dripping with sweat. And I, like, super theatrical. Kirby, I need Johanna. Just saying, I need some Rosemary Mint Shaving Cream in my life. Alright. Let's get through these, which I always save the best for last blossom bars. I got three blossom bars. One, which I'll start with, whoops, is a repeat from last week. McBoo. Marshmallow, Campfire Marshmallow, Palo Santo, and Frosted Grams. No words. Chef Wendell's Cinnamon Squares. And no words meaning good. Obviously, I have more. Your favorite cinnamon swirled cereal with ice cold milk. So it's like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That smells exactly like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's crazy. It's very, very, like, spicy cinnamon, though. So if you don't like spicy cinnamon, you won't like this. Oh, that smells just like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's crazy. That's crazy. That is going to be so good in the mornings. Oh, my God. I'm dropping all the wax. And then last, Martha Stewart. She's the best. Zucchini bread, vanilla butter fudge, and cupcakes at Tiffany's. I know, Catherine, the cupcakes at Tiffany's might turn you off. 
this is like, this is cavity sweet. This is sweet, guys. This is really sweet. Oh, but it's so good. It's like a really sweet zucchini bread. Like, a zucchini bread dipped in chocolate fudge. Wow, that's sweet. But that is yummy. And I guess I could picture that's what Martha Stewart would smell like if she baked all the time. All right, my bin is empty. Now it's time to attempt to try to put all this stuff away because I don't know where. I'm going to put all this vintage chic sets because I have so much of it. Yet, I'm going to place another order because that's just how I am. I need some Christmas in my life. So, let me know if you got anything from these la latest restocks. What did you get from the last one that was just on Sunday? I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great one. Bye.